everyone welcome back today in this video i am going to show how do we use general overview page template of radwood to depict employee details we will show how we can use this template effectively which will show the list of employees of a particular department but guys before we start i will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates so let's begin and see how the general overview page template can be used to depict employee details so let's go to the visual builder screen and there we have two business objects one is called departments which contains all the department data you can see we have various departments and here we have the department id as a primary key we have another business object called employees where we have the data of employee and it also have the department id meaning this employee belongs to which department so considering a single uh, uh, one employee belongs to a one department only so let's see how we can show the department on a page and how do we show the details of employees in a particular department in a effective manner using the radwood templates so first of all we are going to create a page here that will show the employees data and here we are going to use a template called a template called welcome page template let's say create so here is your welcome page template so we can design this let's select this template select it and here you can see we have various properties for page title overline description background color illustration background source url illustration force foreground source url so all those properties are related to this particular header only let's say title let's say department you can see department has been changed you can see list of departments all right you can see background color so there's a one variable which is associated called background color if you can remove that and here you can see you have various background color you can change dark mine dark lake tail rose and you can change whatever you want similarly illustration background source url and foreground source url so this is the uh, a foreground and then there's a background image as well and here there are so many other things so fine now first here i wanted to show the list of departments in a list manner so what we are going to do we are going to use the list view here and let's go to the add data and let's choose the departments next next and whatever you wanted to show you can simply say i want you to show the department name i wanted to show the department id i also wanted to show the location id next and finish so here we go but if you see this this is not this is not looking a good ui so what we will do we will remove all those div section that we have here select all and then simply say delete so what i am going to do here i am going to search a component called card component and we'll use that card component under that list item and we will use under default so this is how your card looks like and then what we are also going to do we are going to use that list view and there we are going to use this as a mm, all let's say display as a card so here you can see this is how your card looks like now let's bind it you can see your primary text which you get and go to the card again and here you can see a uh, general and you can see primary text your primary text you can bind this with your department name all right so all right and then you can have secondary text line secondary text line and directory text also let me have directory text is like my 
department ID and department ID, it takes a string. So what I'm going to do, I'm also going to put department ID as this and plus, right? So here you can see department ID and your secondary text here, secondary text would be like this. And there I'm going to show the location ID and location ID again, I will say log ID. Here we go. Now you can see we have this department's page here. Now let's go to the property and here you can see department ID. I wanted to make this as a as a hyperlink so that when you click here, you can go to the another page which will show the list of employees in a particular department. So let's go to the cart and let's, okay, now go to the all, then there would be a, there would be a navigation, navigation action. You can say navigation action display is let's say on. So here you can see department ID becomes the uh, link. Now, so when I click on this department ID, it should go to the another page. So let's go to the properties, go to the event there. We have an event called SP navigation action. That is the default event. So I will register that event, which will take me to the uh, action chain. And there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a navigate to page and I will create a new page here, which will navigate me to the another page. So here I will say, um, uh, oh, sorry, I guess what we should do, it's not our employees page, it should be the departments, my bad. You can rename this quickly, right. So let's open this page again. Let's go to the actions and here, Let's create another page here and the page would be employees. And there I'm going to choose the general overview page template, provide read only information for a business object in a simple layout, such as form or timeline. So I'm going to use this and you can see here, the page has been created for you. So this is how the page looks like. So this is divided into multiple section, the header section, the, uh, detail section and then uh, you can see here the main section and then info section. So this is divided into two. All right. So here, what I'm also going to do, I'm also going to create two variables. One is department ID and second will be department name. And I will make both as a input parameter enabled so that I can pass it from the parent page. So here you go to the action chain here. Let's say department name would be your current dot data dot, I guess the -E 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 name, I guess the name is this. Let me check the -E double P. Yeah, let me copy this, go here, correct. And then department ID would be your key because this is the primary key, fine. Now let's go back to your employee page and let's design this. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose a table component and we'll put the table component on the main slot, right? And let's design this table. Let's say quick start, add data. Let's choose the employees. Next, whatever information you wanted to show, you can show, for example, First name, last name, email, phone number, and salary. All right, these are the information that I wanted to show. Next, in the defined query, I'm going to add a filter criteria here. The department IT equals department IT. Finish. So it is showing all the information as of now here, why it should not show anything. Okay. Department ID is blank. Let me check. All right, that is okay, fine, no problem. 
Now here, let's design this template. Here we can change here page title. Let's say employ employ employee details. Right now here, apart from this, I also wanted to show a back button using which user can go to the back. And I also wanted to show a add a new employee so that user can add a new employee. So let's go here. First of all, let's add a back button here for which you simply you need to use in flow back, which will add this icon using which you can go to the previous page. But you have to generate an event here and the event would be your SP in flow back. And then you can say navigate back, which will take you to the previous page. Now, here, along with this, I also wanted to show the new employee button here. You simply need to do is primary action label, let's say new employee. And when you add it, you can also create an action chain, primary action, which will take you to another page with the designated page, whichever you want to define. All right, let's leave it for now. And here, I also wanted to show some more information like department ID, and department name for which you what you can do you can go to the general and there is a mm, contextual info select this and here you can define for contextual information plus let's say department it and then value would be your department it and then similarly you can add one more let's say department name and here you can say department name. So when you will come to this page from the previous page, it will show department ID and department name as well. So what you can also do, you can also change the headers here of the table. Select the table, what happened? It is not selecting, allowing me to select the table. Okay, you can go to the board section as well. You can change the header text here. First name, last name, email, contact, salary. All right, I hope that. Okay, now let's test this page. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply change the default page to departments page and let's run it. Here we go. You can see, let me go to the department ID 50, shipping and you can see department ID 50 and shipping. So we have all those employees here. You can go back. You can see department ID 10. We have only single employee department ID 10. This is your contextual information and you can go back also. You can see department 30, department 30 and department purchasing, there's no employee. So this is how you can use that general overview template to create a nice page and it's a narrow good. Guys, I hope you find this video useful. If yes, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. You can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.